Hello students, in this video we are going to see a very interesting chapter that is pairs of linear equation in two variables. Now before starting the chapter you should understand what does the linear equation in two variable means. So first thing first here, what is an equation? A mathematical statement with at least one variable and an equal to sign is called as equation. Now let us try to understand different types of equation. For example, if I have x plus 3 is equal to 0, is it an equation? Yes, it is. Suppose if I give you y plus 3 is equal to 0, is it an equation? Yes, it is. Now imagine if I give you this kind of equation, that is x square plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. Is it an equation? Yes, it is. Next y square plus 5y plus 9 is equal to 0. Is it an equation? Yes, it is. Now here you have x plus y plus 5 is equal to 0. The question is, is it an equation? Yes, of course, it's an equation. And 3x plus 5y plus 9 is equal to 0. Is it an equation? Yes, of course. Now what is the difference between all these three equations? Now try to understand this in detail. Here you have linear. So what does the linear mean? Linear means an equation with degree 1. Okay, with an equation with degree 1. Now here you can see the highest power of the variable that is x is 1 and down the highest power of the variable y is 1. So degree is 1. That's why it is called as linear equation. But now we are going to see a chapter that is linear equation with Two variables. So what does it mean? Okay, so what does it mean? Now here you have on the right hand side two variables x and y and their power is equal to 1. So now here also you have 3x to the power of 1 plus 5y to the power of 1 plus 9 is equal to 0. So this kind of equations, how to find the value of x, how to find the value of y, this is what we are going to find in this chapter. So this is something called as linear equation with two variables. Now let us try to solve some questions here. Now the standard form of linear equation of two variable, it is written as this. So x and y are the coefficient, oh sorry, x and y are the variables, a and b are the coefficient and now the condition is a, b and c. The real numbers, a should not be equal to zero, and b should not be equal to 0. So these are the two conditions. Then it is called as linear equation with two variables. Now methods to solve linear equations in two variables. How to find the value of x and y? We have different methods. Those are the first method is substitution method. The second method is elimination method. Third is graphical method and the fourth is cross multiplication method. So let us try to understand this method in detail one by one. So the first method is substitution method. So here you have, imagine, solve the following pair of linear equations by the substitution method. Now this is equation number one, x plus y is equal to 14 and x minus y is equal to four. So x plus y is equal to 14 and x minus y is equal to four these are the two equation. First, let us number the equation. Now here, I take this equation 1 and I take this equation 2. So, after this, consider one of the two equations. Okay, which equation is to be considered? That's the confusion. Now, you can consider either of the two equation. You can take either equation 1 or you can take equation 2. It is better to consider simpler of the two equation. So whichever equation you find it easy, okay, those equation you can take and then substitute the value. Now look at this. Let us consider equation number 2. So consider equation number 2, x minus y is equal to 4. So now write the equation either x is equal to something or y is equal to something. So now look at this now. It is easy for me. If I take minus y to the right hand side, it becomes plus y. So here I take x is equal to 4 plus y. Now try to write this equation as number 3. So now 
x is equal to 4 plus y becomes number 3. What is the name of this method just we have seen? That is called as substitution method. So, we need to substitute something. Substitute what? Substitute equation number 3 and where? In the equation which was not considered. So, now you are going to put the value of x in equation number 1. So, let us try to solve the problem. So, what happens here? This becomes 4 plus y plus y is equal to 14. I am substituting the value in equation number 1. So, now this becomes 4 and y plus y becomes 2y is equal to 14. Now, what happens when a constant that is number 4, when it goes to right hand side, it becomes 14 minus 4. So, 2y is equal to 10 and y is equal to 5. So, now you got the value of y, you have to find the value of x. So, how to get the value of x? We have to substitute y is equal to 5. Either in equation number 1, 2 or 3, any of the equation, you get the answer. So, now substituting in equation number 3, you get x is equal to 4 plus 5 that is equal to 9. So, I got the solution that is x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 5. I hope you understood this. Now, let us try to solve next question. s minus t is equal to 3. s and this is the first equation and s by 3 plus t by 2 is equal to 6. Now, how to solve such equations? By substitution method. So, now here Equation number 1 is simple, that is s minus t is equal to 3, equation number 1. And now equation number 2, you have denominator 3 and 2, which is equal to right hand side 6. If any number is in the denominator, then it becomes difficult to solve that kind of questions. So first, I am going to remove the denominator and we have seen to remove the denominator, we have LCM method. So there are two denominator 3 and 2 their LCM is 6. So, first I remove that multiplying throughout by 6. So, I get 6 into S by 3 plus 6 into T by 2 is equal to 6 into 6. So, when I solve this, I get 2S plus 3T is equal to 36. Now, this equation, I take it as number 2. Okay. Now, consider one of the two equation. Which equation is to be considered? You can consider either of the two equation. It is best, better to consider simpler of the two equations. Now, let us consider equation number 1. So, considering s minus t is equal to 3, what happens here? You have to write the equation in the terms of s is equal to something or t is equal to something. Now, it is easy to take minus t to the right hand side. So, this becomes s is equal to t plus 3. Now, substituting the value of s of the equation number 3 in any of the equation. So, what is the name of this method? This is called a substitution method. So, we need to substitute something. Substitute what? Substitute equation number 3. But where? In the equation which was not considered. So, now s is equal to t plus 3 will be substituted. So, look at this. The equation becomes 2 into bracket t plus 3. Okay, like this. Now, I solve. Multiplying 2 with t, you get 2t. Then multiplying 2 into 3, you get 6 then you have 3t is equal to 36. 2t plus 3t gives you 5t plus 6 is equal to 36. When the constant plus 6 goes to the right hand side, it becomes 36 minus 6. So, 36 minus 6 gives you 30. So, t value is 30 by 5 that is equal to 6. So, you got the value of t now. Now, you have to find the value of s. So, you can directly substitute in equation number 1, 2 or 3. But it is easy to substitute in equation number 3. So, what you get the answer is s is equal to t plus 3. That is s is equal to 9. So, the solution is s is equal to 9 and t is equal to 6. Next, let us try to understand this question. 3x minus y is equal to 3. 9x minus 3y is equal to 9. These are the two equations. First, let us number the equation. This is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. Consider one of the two equations. Which equation is to be considered? You can consider either of the two equations. It is better to consider simpler of the two equations. Let us consider equation number 1. Consider 3x minus y is equal to 3. So, now write the equation in terms of x is equal to something or y is equal to something. Now, x is equal to this becomes 3 plus y 
or y plus 3 and 3 comes into the denominator. So now the name, this equation becomes equation number 3. So what is the name of this method? It is called a substitution method. So we need to substitute something. Some substitute what here? Substitute equation number 3 but where in the equation which was not considered. So now I am going to substitute. So the equation looks like 9 into y plus 3 by 3 you have to put the brackets most of this time the students they don't put bracket and they end up in a wrong answer so now this becomes 3 1s are 3 threes are now if i multiply these two values it becomes 3y plus 9 minus 3y is equal to 9 so now 3y and 3y gets cancelled you get 9 is equal to 9 since both the variables get cancelled on solving this equation do not have an unique solution so they don't have a unique solution next how to solve this kind of question that is root 2x plus root 3y is equal to 0 and root 3x minus root 8y is equal to 0 now look at this root 2x plus root 3y is equal to 0 this is equation number 1 i'm going to number it and the second equation is root 3x minus root 8y is equal to 0 consider one of the two equation which equation is to be considered you can consider either of the two equation. It is better to consider simpler of the two equations. Let us consider equation number 1. The equation number 1 is root 2x plus root 3y is equal to 0. Write the equation either x is equal to something or y is equal to something. So I take root 2x is equal to minus root 3y and the root 2 value will come to the denominator so the x value becomes x is equal to minus root 3y divided by root 2 now name it as equation number 3 and now what is the name of this method this is called a substitution method so we need to substitute something substitute what substitute equation number 3 in any of the equation so now i consider the equation which was not taken for the value of x so now here what happens when I substitute it, it becomes root 3 into minus root 3y divided by root 2 minus root 8y is equal to 0. Now, when I multiply, this becomes minus 3y and this becomes minus 16. Okay, so root 2 into root 8y is equal to root of 16y. So, here this becomes minus 4y is equal to 0. So, now minus 3y minus 4y by root 2 this becomes minus 7y is equal to 0 and finally you get the answer as y is equal to 0 okay so now you have to substitute this value y is equal to 0 to get the value of x so you get the value of x directly in substituting number 3 so you get the answer as x is equal to 0 you got the answer so both here the value of x and y are 0 next question 3x by 2 minus 5y by 3 this is the first equation and we have denominator in this kind of questions but whenever you have denominator it is difficult to solve so first i am going to take the lcm the lcm is 6 so what i do multiplying throughout by 6 we get 6 3x by 2 minus 6 5 by 3 is equal to minus 2 into 6 so this becomes 9x minus 10y is equal to minus 12 so this is the equation number 1 now taking the second equation once again you get the lcm as 6 and now you get 6x by 3 plus 6y by 2 plus uh, is equal to 13 by 6 into 6 so when i solve this you get 2x plus 3y is equal to 13 now name this as equation number 2 now which equation to be considered you can consider either of the two equation it is better to consider simpler of the two equations let us consider equation number 1 9x minus 10y is equal to minus 12 write the equation either x is equal to something or y is equal to something so this becomes x is equal to minus 12 plus 10y and finally x is equal to minus 12 plus 10y divided by 9 so num uh, number of the equation here it is 3 now here what is the name of the method this method is called a substitution so we need to substitute something substitute what substitute equation number 3 where in the equation which was not considered 
this equation here is the second equation. Now find the value of x here and substitute. Substitute equation number 3 in equation number 2. This becomes 2 into bracket minus 12 plus 10y divided by 9 plus 3y is equal to 13. So when I multiply this into bracket, this becomes minus 24 plus 20y is divided by 9 plus 3y is equal to 13. Now you have 9 in the denominator. You have to cross multiply this and you get minus 24 plus 20y plus 27y is equal to 13 into 9 that is 117. So finally you get the equation as 20y plus 27y is equal to 117 that is equal to 47y or uh, 24 you have to take to the right hand side it becomes 24. Finally the answer is y is equal to 141 by 47 that is equal to 3. So once you get the value of y, you have to find the value of x. Just substitute the value of y in equation number 3 or any of the equation, you get the equation answer directly. So now substituting in equation number 3, you get minus 12 plus 10 into 3 by 9. That means the answer is 18 by 9 that is x is equal to 2. So the answer is x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. Next, solve the following pair of linear equation by the substitution method. So here you have 3x minus y is equal to 3, 9x minus 3y is equal to 9. Now here, by the substitution method, considering any one of the two equations, consider the simpler form of the two equation. So you have 3x minus y is equal to 3. So write this equation either x is equal to something or y is equal to something. So what happens here? x is equal to, I am taking the first equation, 3 plus y divided by 3. So let be, let this be the third equation and now substitute this value of x into the second equation. So this becomes 9 into y plus 3 by 3 minus 3y. Three so when you solve this, you get 3y plus 9 minus 3y is equal to 9. So you get 3y, 3y cancels, 9 is equal to 9. Since both the variables get cancelled on solving, this equation do not have any unique solution. So you have to be careful when you are solving this kind of linear equations with two variables. Next, solve the following pair of linear equation by the substitution method. Now you have point here, 0.2x plus 0.3y is equal to 1.3. And the second equation is 0.4x plus 0.5y is equal to 2.3. So now what happens? Write down as it is. Let us multiply 10 to all the values here so that I remove the points. So this becomes 2x plus 3y is equal to 13. This becomes 4x plus 5y is equal to 23. So now let, is the, uh, let this be the equation number 1 and this be the equation number 2. Consider any one of the two equations. Whichever is easy, you have to take it. So now let us take equation number 1, 2x plus 3y is equal to 13. Write the equation either in the x form, x is equal to something or y is equal to something. And then you have x is equal to 13 minus 3y divided by 2. And now substitute this equation in equation number 2. Now here you get 4 into bracket. 13 minus 3y divided by 2 plus 5y is equal to 23. Now 2 and 4 gets cancelled. Now 2 into 3 is 26 minus 6y plus 5y is equal to 23. Now here you get minus y is equal to 23 minus 26 that is equal to minus y is equal to minus 3 or when minus is when the negative sign is both on the left hand side and right hand side you can directly cancel it and the answer is y is equal to 3. So the answer is y is equal to 3. So once you get the value of y, you have to find the value of x also. Substitute in the third equation. So you get 13 minus 3 of 3 by 2. So 13 minus 9 by 2, you get 4 by 2. The answer is 2. So the solution here is x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. So I hope you understood the substitution method in detail. We'll come back and see the next important methods in the next video. Thank you.